O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. Come, Holy Ghost, Creator, come from thy bright heavenly throne. Come take possession of our souls and make them all thy own. Thou who art called the paraclete, best gift of God above, the living spring, the living fire, sweet unction and true love. Thou who art sevenfold in thy grace, finger of God's right hand, He's promised teaching little ones to speak and understand. O guide our minds with thy blessed light, with love our hearts in flame, and with thy strength which nadi case confirm our mortal frame. Far from us drive our deadly foe, true peace unto us bring. And through all perils lead us safe beneath thy sacred wing. Through thee may we the Father know, through thee the Eternal Son. And thee the Spirit of them both, thrice blessed, three in one. All glory to the Father be with his co-equal Son. The same to the great paraclete, while endless ages run. All the nations shall come to adore you, O Lord. Alleluia. Turn your ear, O Lord, and give answer. For I am poor and needy. Preserve my life, for I am faithful. Save the servant who trusts in you. You are my God, have mercy me, Lord. For I cry to you all the day long. Give joy to your servant, O Lord. For to you I lift my soul. O Lord, you are good and forgiving, full of love to all who call. Give heed, O Lord, to my prayer, and attend to the sound of my voice. In the day of distress I will call, and surely you will reply. Among the gods there is none like you, O Lord, no work can compare with yours. All the nations shall come to adore you, and glorify your name, O Lord. For you are great and do marvellous deeds. You are alone, our God. Show me, Lord, your way, so that I may walk in your truth. Guide my heart to fear your name. I will praise you, Lord my God, with all my heart, and glorify your name forever. For your love to me has been great. You have saved me from the depths of the grave. The proud have risen against me. Ruthless men seek my life. To you they pay no heed. But you, God of mercy and compassion, Slow to anger, O Lord, abounding in love and truth. 
turn and take pity on me. O oh, give your strength to your servant, and save your handmaid son. Show me a sign of your favour, that my foes may see to their shame, that you console me and give me your help. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to his Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. All the nations shall come to adore you, O Lord. Alleluia. Our eyes will see the King in his splendour. Alleluia. Hear you who are far off what I have done, and you who are near acknowledge my might. The sinners in Zion are afraid, trembling has seized the godless, who among us can dwell with a devouring fire, who among us can dwell with everlasting burnings. He who walks righteously and speaks uprightly, who despises the gain of oppressions, who shakes his hands, lest they hold a bribe, who shakes his ears, correction, who stops his ears from hearing of bloodshed and shuts his eyes from looking upon evil, he will dwell on the heights. His place of defence will be the fortresses of rocks. His bread will be given him, his water will be sure. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our eyes will see the King in his splendour. Alleluia. All men will see the salvation of our God. Alleluia. Sing a new song to the Lord. For he has worked wonders, his right hand and his holy arm have brought salvation. The Lord has made known his salvation, has shown his justice to the nations. He has remembered his truth and love for the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout to the Lord of the earth, ring at your joy. Sing psalms to the Lord with the harp, with the sound of music, with trumpets and the sound of the horn. Acclaim the King, the Lord. Let the sea and all within it thunder, the world and all its peoples. Let the rivers clap their hands, and the hills ring out their joy. Rejoice the presence of the Lord, for he comes to rule the earth. He will rule the world with justice and the peoples with fairness. Praise the Father, the Son and Holy Spirit, both now and forever. The God who is, who was and is to come at the end of the ages. All men will see the salvation of our God. Alleluia. If we have died with Christ, we have faith to believe that we shall share his life. We know that Christ, now he has risen from the dead, cannot die any more. Death has no more power over him. The death he died was a death, once for all, to sin. The life he now lives is a life that looks towards God. And you too must think of yourselves as dead to sin and alive with a life that looks towards God through Christ Jesus our Lord. 
The Lord has risen from the dead. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord has risen from the dead. Alleluia. Alleluia. For our sake he died on the cross. The Lord has risen from the dead. Alleluia. Alleluia. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord has risen from the dead. Alleluia. Alleluia. Let us thank God, who has given us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour in the house of David, his servant. As he promised by the lips of holy men, those who were his prophets from of old, a saviour who would raise from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us. So his love for our fathers is fulfilled, and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father to grant us our tree from fear and save from the hands of our foes. We might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. He shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him, to make known to his people the salvation through forgiveness of all their sins, the loving kindness of the heart of our God, visits us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to His Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. Let us thank God, who has given us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit joins, it, joins with our spirit in bearing witness that we are children of God. Let us give thanks to our Heavenly Father, Father, hear your children. God of patience and encouragement, grant that me we may agree with one another by following the example of Christ. United in mind and voice, let us glorify you. Father, hear your children. Let each of us think of his brother's good and strive to please him. Enable us to strengthen his faith. Father, hear your children. Do not allow us to be led astray by the power of the evil one. Fill us instead with the spirit who comes from you. Father, hear your children. Lord, you know everything that is in our hearts. Lead us in the ways of sincerity and truth. Father, hear your children. At the Saviour's command, and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God of mercy, you have gathered your church together by the Holy Spirit. Keep us devoted to your service and united among ourselves. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.